Itewad Sevi, I'm back on a cold, cold November, November morning. It is Thursday morning, heading off to Daegu. And I'm going to be using the express bus to Daegu. Why am I not using KTX? Well, because the KTX is on strike. Normally I take the KTX 12 o'clock, 12.30 train to Daegu. It takes me less than two hours. And uh, I get to Daegu, no problem. But today, because of the strike uh, this week, uh, the trains are unreliable. You may show up and your train is not available. So I have to be in Daegu on time for class. So, oh, get the shadow out of the way there. So I'm gonna be taking the train. So I'm gonna talk to you about how to take the, uh, I gotta take the bus. Now, there's three kinds of buses. There's a regular bus, cheap, crowded. There's the premium bus or excellent bus. Uh, seats are a little bit bigger. And then there is the luxury bus, which is what I'm taking today. It is like a business class airplane. So we are at the express bus terminal station. So this is express bus terminal. That's Seoul City Terminal. There's two. Seoul City Terminal, express bus terminal. This is the express bus terminal subway station. So what you do is you come here. So that's the main station over there. And this is where you want to go. This area right here. Okay, so we're gonna go inside there. I'm gonna show you where I go to get my get on the bus. So I'm staying overnight in Daegu because uh, the next day I have to go to Gwangju. And again, I'm gonna take the bus. And then coming from Gwangju back to Seoul, I was supposed to take the train, but I'm going to take the bus. And that is a four hour journey. That is going to be killer. Um, but it's a nighttime trip, so, and it's on a luxury bus. So as you can see here, there's the entrance. Now this is one of many, many entrances. And they have a lot of food here. They have some predominant, well, obviously predominantly Korean, Korean food. And I'm gonna post the link of the uh, website, which is in English, but the problem with that is, is that unless you know the exact bus terminal, you're not going to fully comprehend what uh, bus to take. So now we're inside the terminal, and as you can see, it's under construction, but all the buses are lined up out there. When you buy your ticket, um, you're gonna have information on what platform the bus is going on um, and what time. So I'm here a little early because I wanted to do this video and I wanted to get some breakfast before I get on the bus because I'm gonna sleep most of the way. So I'm gonna post the website in English. There's also a Korean app that you can, mobile app. So if you're going to use this, I would suggest having a Korean friend um, help you with it because uh, if you don't know the stations, it's very difficult to know which station. Like for example, this station is not listed as Express Bus Terminal Station. It's listed as Seoul Gyeongbyo, which unless you knew that and you're Korean or Korean, you wouldn't be able to find the station. And so for example, in Daegu, it's Dong Daegu Station. It, there's three stations there, and it, if you take the wrong one, you end up in the wrong place. So even the Busan one is so difficult to find. Um, and yeah, the English website is not that good, in my opinion, but the mobile app is actually quite good. But it's all in Korean. So, and you can pay with your debit card and the ticket comes to your phone and you just scan it when you get up. All right, so I'm gonna go get some breakfast and some coffee and I will see you on the bus. I'm back. So it's a little chilly today, but here we are at the bus stop and Daegu. So my bus is gonna show up here or here, one of these two spots. Uh, and I'm about 20 minutes early. The bus arrives about 10 minutes before departure. There's a little waiting room right here, so I'm just gonna go sit in there. But this is the 
this is where all the buses uh, line up. Um, the signs are in English, so you can find uh, your, your, you know, which stop you're going and, and the sign with the number, uh, the gate number and the city where the bus is going. And then also the bus on the front of it says the departure time and the city it's going to. So if you're going to Daegu at 10 o'clock, it'll say 10 o'clock Daegu. Uh, now, uh, your ticket is a barcode. Your, the simplest way is just to show the, uh, the attendant. There's always an attendant in front or the bus driver before you scan it, just to make sure you're getting on the right bus. Because uh, one thing on these long distance trips is you do not want to get on the wrong bus. Right? You don't want to end up in the wrong city or in the wrong uh, bus station or something like that. So, uh, and the other thing that I like to do is, um, so they say the trip is like three hours. I set an alarm for two hours and 40 minutes. Uh, that wakes me up if I am or reminds me that, you know, oh, your stop is coming up soon and then you can flick on Google Maps or whatever to figure out where you are. Because the other thing is, is that you... Because you're not Korean, you, maybe you don't understand Korean or read Korean, uh, some of these buses don't have English uh, notification, so you may not realize you're approaching your bus stop. Uh, because it's not sometimes a direct point-to-point, -point. sometimes there are stops in between. <clears throat> or if you're going to a new place, uh, you might not recognize the bus stop. So you need to make sure that your um, checking that you know where you're going what time you're going and etc so here are here is this is not my bus but that is one of the gorgeous buses it's premium gold they call them there's another one right behind it too oh yeah no that one's not mine those ones are going to Jinju which is in the southern part of the country as well no that's in the south east side of the country Anyway, or south side. Anyway, so those are the buses. They, uh, they're three seats across, so two seats together and then one seat by itself. And they're like business class. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a video of uh, that inside when I get on the bus. So I'm gonna go have a seat, chill out and relax for about 20 minutes till my bus gets here. Talk to you soon. So here we are on the bus. Find my seat. 15. Here we go. Overhead bag. Sorry, pressed the wrong button. A little chilly in here, but I'll keep my jacket on. The heat will probably come on. So check this out. I got the seat to myself, so it's a single seat or so. What you see is like one and then two over there, so pretty comfortable. And the seat reclines. All the way down into lie flat position and oh, the footrest, oh, it's so comfortable.
And here we are, halfway, halfway there, and we stop off at a little rest area for bathroom break and food break. So it's a little rest area here. It's not bad. I took a nap on the bus. There it is right there. Took a nice little nap. Now I'm gonna uh, flick on uh, the YouTube and enjoy, I don't know, something, and chill out for the next, uh, I think one hour, and then we should be at our destination. Eh? Really comfortable. I'm just so loving it. Uh, well worth it. Uh, definitely less stress than having to figure out uh, uh, the KTX. So we'll get back on the bus and we'll see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, ET1 Sammy here. So here I am in Daegu and I am about to get onto the monorail. So they have this elevated monorail system that I'm going to be taking for about four or five stops. So we're going to check it out here. I've never been on a monorail before, so let's take a look here. And, oh, it's a little colorful little train here. I'm going to really cute. So let's uh, take a look out the window and take a look at the view of the Daegu monorail. So this is elevated. It, it's the yellow line. Um, don't know much about it, but it, it looks very, very interesting. And Let's take a look. Let's ride along. Look at this. Elevated outdoor view. Wow. So, we're headed into downtown. And. Pretty fun ride. You can watch him. I'm out. <laughs> 